things were kind of looking like they were going sour there and with the position we were in in points with Tony missing the first few races of the season there, we knew we had to win to get in the playoffs. You know, I was somewhat disappointed that whole weekend because we just really weren't where we needed to be. We, we just couldn't get the balance of the car right. We couldn't get enough forward drive in the car to get off the corner. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Ooh, let's go racing, boys! And we were running in the top 10 most of that day, and then we kind of had some trouble on pit road. He did say the front end of the car feels pretty numb through the S's. It kind of got us back in the mix of cars, and he was having to drive it extra hard to try and keep up with the competition. We weren't really spectacular during the race, but we got in a situation, and it was really because of our crew chief. You know, I basically said to him, hey man, we can either keep riding here and finish about 15th for the day, or we can take a chance and hope it works out for us. And you know, we pitted um, a little bit early. Now, if that caution happens, Tony needs it to happen pretty quick while those tires are still fairly fresh. It'll be interesting to see if it pays off. I don't even think we made a half a lap and the caution came out. So we were kind of the first ones in for that last stop. And as much as the tires fall off, I thought, well, we might be able to hang on for a top 10. That would have made my day. Can Stewart hold off the four fast Toyotas right behind him? I right, got a nice jump on that start. Great start. I got a really good restart and got out just far enough. That gave us enough time to get those guys to get their first two laps off of their tires to where it kind of even the tire situation out. I watched a lot of it, and every time I would go into turn 11, they would be coming off of turn 11, and I'm like, all right, well, he's still leading. Denny put so much pressure on me, I and mean, the lap before uh, we came to the white, I mean, I wheel hop pretty bad into turn seven, just trying to get in the corner, and that's how hard we had to push. And, you know, I saw Denny do the same thing, but he didn't do it very bad, and, and he caught us. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Hamlin, he's wheel hopping. He's going to hit him. in his air. When he got there and he hit me, that stopped him to where he could make the corner and it pushed me wide. He hit him. Hey, oh, got my, him. Oh, oh, no. We all saw Denny move the almighty Tony Stewart to win that race, and, and that's the grizzly bear, you know. Probably everybody saw the last opportunity to win a race. This kid moves him out of the way. I'm thinking, you're, you're fixing a flip somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be, but the payback's coming. Hey, this thing's not over, guys. Watch what happens into turn 11 in this heavy braking zone. He had enough of a gap to really win the race. And he goes down in turn 11, and he wheel hops. He, he is there. Won. He what gets the Hamlin. They Whoa. hit. And Stewart comes off turn 11. Look at that. He's coming to the flag. That was the funniest thing about it, is Denny knew it was coming so bad that he overshot the corner by a mile and pretty much handed it right back to him, but then Tony Fashion didn't just let him just move over. He went ahead and smoked him in the fence. I got pushed out of the lead, so it was like a, it was fair to push him out of the way to, to get the lead back, so his was unintentional. Mine 100% was intentional, the contact. <laughs> I had a really dinged up race car at that point from it, you know, we've got it to the line. That was a perfect type of move and a perfect situation for Stewart to take the gloves off and to steal that win back. That's Stewart. When there's a chance to win, it might just be a 1% chance. He's going to make the right move. Not only did he win the race and put him in the playoffs and, and he was going to be um, celebrated more appropriately than I felt like he probably uh, was throughout the season. It's special, trust me. <laughs> that was the one where you saw emotion, you know, and you never really saw that on him. Even the championships, that was the one where you could see, it, like, just the relief come off of him and, and really embrace his last one.